everyone so today is the flip through of the journal so for those of you who have followed the entomology journal series this is the end this is video number seven um i hope you enjoyed the flip through it's nice to go to see it all done and finalized as you've seen bits and parts of it uh, through the uh, making of process and now you get to see the final uh, result so I just decided to attach it with this since I've used this kind of fabric all through the journal for uh, tags and such. I kept it simple. Um, the only thing I did since the last video is I did decide to emboss a few of the insects. I thought it looked really nice. See right there. It pops even more. I couldn't do the one on the back simply because I had already put a stamp and it would be hard even with my embossing pencil. To go only on the bug and avoid the whole stamp so I just left it this way but I find that it really pops the color is even more vibrant so I've also uh, since then decorated the tags that weren't decorated so far super easy I glued a piece of um, digital paper and put some stamps and voila you have a beautiful tag so I've also decided to put some embossing powder on this one so it pops even more off the fabric. And we have here our little envelope that we made out of an old uh, inter-office mailing envelope. And I created this tag, super easy again, one of my tags from the Entomology um, Digital Journal Kit. And I fussy cut it a bug and put some stamps and here we go and a journaling card so that's it for this beautiful little envelope and of course we did decorate the back and we also decorated this page because I didn't want it to be blank once you took this out of your journal and well that was our fun adventure of making this mason jar <laughs> I'm laughing because there were some miss you know mishaps and and but I think overall I did show you how to do it and I did give you good advice for when you try and create your own and we have this pocket with again um, journaling card and an extra butterfly why not always useful <laughs> and here I simply put this beautiful insect on the page I think it's beautiful I love the color and I simply here uh, attach this tag to these uh, journaling, pa journaling pages pardon and just with a simple paper clip why not and of course you can journal behind this tag that's why I've put them in here and this beautiful swivel dragonfly in this oval frame I absolutely love these frames like I said I will try and make uh, a few kits for you to purchase on Etsy with different types of frame uh, especially the one with the um, uh, specimen card type that I, I do have actually it's this one <laughs> so I have this die cut and I will make a few and put them in a kit with all a few other elements for you to enjoy for those of you who do not possess a die cutting machine um, I will be my pleasure to make a few kits and I try and come up with a decent price um, that includes the shipping of course and I made this uh, beautiful little tag easy peasy a few stamps a bit of a rub on and a fussy cut it uh, bug I really love it it's gorgeous and then we keep flip flipping because this is a it is a never-ending journal and another uh, journaling card right here in this pocket and this clear or translucent pocket made with vellum I really love that when you take it out you can see the beautiful Tim Holtz paper in the background and I did add some um, embossing powder on top of the stamp I think it makes the colors pop the red becomes really shiny and brighter and I did the same thing on this one which the top swivels for you to enjoy the beautiful V 
and as you can see right now on the camera I did put some embossing powder on this stamp as well and here I simply made a tiny little corner tuck to put another beautiful tag again a piece of you know cardstock um, from a digital kit and a few stamps and you got yourself a beautiful um, tag and this tag was also part of my entomology digital paper set here I also somewhat embossed it I went a different way but I like the effect I really like it, it it's almost velvety I should say and you flip this specimen card and you have here an envelope that we also had a whole lot of fun to create um, because my little tool here chomped a side as a you know took a bite off the envelope so I had to come up with a creative idea to cover it which I did with this fabric <laughs> and of course these items uh, you need to grab them with something just because the envelope is now attached to the journal but you can put all kinds of beautiful items in there and again when you take them out you can still see through the beautiful Tim Holtz paper in the background that was the whole point of this envelope I really love to play with translucent items and again I put some um, embossing powder on this stamp I really love the effect and then we flip here and we have a beautiful little side pocket that was made with uh, a Rolodex card I really love using my old Rolodex card for all kinds of things but I think they make really beautiful pockets and we just applied a, a few insects and a stamp and here is just a beautiful rub-on you know how i love my rub-ons you can get them uh you can get anything 15 percent off when you use my code the purring cat studio at paperlogy so take advantage of that it's a really nice rebate and here i have another beautiful little pocket and here you have another um file um not a file as kind of a specimen file but it i kind of transformed it totally into something else and it still looks like a specimen card as you can see but with the frame and the butterfly in the middle it just became like a pocket specimen card i could say and here of course i made a tag with once again just fussy cutting some elements out of the a, a digital pocket uh digital paper set that i purchased and a few stamps and you got yourself a beautiful um a beautiful tag and then you go back to the front and this is the end of the journal so i really hope you've enjoyed um this flip through but if you want to see how i made each and every element of this journal including the base of the journal so you know what this is the base of it um i do invite you to consult the uh, video uh, uh, the video list i will post the list of videos um in the description box but you also have a um it's not a watch list i don't remember the name of it but it's where all of the videos go by categories um a playlist playlist so there's a playlist specifically for just this journal so you can see from a to z how we have created this beautiful entomology journal so on this i say thank you for watching i give you a great big hug from here nova scotia canada i really do hope you are all happy healthy and safe and i say Thank you for watching. See you soon. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>